Hey you guys, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and today I'm going to do the next part of our love letter from God, our uh, message from the Lord that He gave, gave me and I'm just breaking down the different parts of this letter, of this message. So today we're going to talk about this next section of this message. Okay, so this is what the Lord said. He said, spend the day with me. Open up your heart to me. Draw close to me. Trust me. Seek me and find me. Open up your heart to me. Okay, so the first part, spend the day with me. Spend the day with me. So spending the day with God. Spending the day with God is the Lord being a part of everything you have to do today. Everything you have to do tomorrow. He is a part of everything that you have to do, everything that you are doing. He's a part of that. So you are spending the whole day with him. You're not actually blocking off times, you know, 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes at night. And then all between that time, you totally haven't even thought about the, the Lord at all. And so, but constantly you know, him being a part of everything that you're doing the whole entire day. Talking to him, communicating with him, singing to him, thinking about him, remembering him uh, in your whole entire day. That's spending the day with him. That's being a part of him, you know, throughout your whole entire day. So he's saying, spend the day with me. Then here he says, open up your heart to me. The way you open up your heart to God, I mean, I have a few videos with this in there. But the way you open up your heart to God is whenever you focus on God, you focus on Him. Let's say if you're worshiping and you just focus on God. You know, the, the words in that worship song is actually singing to God. It's not singing to the people or singing to yourself. It's actually singing to Him. So if you can listen to those type of worship songs and singing to God, and then it will help you focus on God because you will be singing to Him. And so when you focus on Him, what happens, your heart opens to Him. That's what He told me. A long time ago He told me that. And when I did my uh, School of the Prophets uh, training course, the whole course, God gave me that whole course. Uh, everything about that course, the steps, everything, He told me exactly uh, what to teach in there. And one of the things, the first things that He taught me was opening our hearts to Him. And that's what I teach in that course. And that's what I teach when I go a lot of places um, is about how do we open our heart to God. But that's what he taught me is that when you focus on God, now your attention has to be focused on Him. Don't focus on anybody else or problems and stuff, but just focus on Him. When you do that, your heart opens to Him. So it says here, open up your heart to me. And so then the next thing that he actually says here, draw close to me, trust me draw close to me. <laughs> this was, um, I remember, I'm going to tell you guys a really quick story. When I first became a Christian and um, I had went to um, this, it was like a prophetic, I mean, not a prophetic, but an apostolic type of conference or something like that. And that was my first time ever going to something like that. So when I went in there, I mean, it was powerful. I mean, they had like a pool in there, like a, a little kiddie pool. Um, and they put water in there and they prayed and anointed the water and everything. And they told people that, you know, needed healing or anything to come. They, you know, can get in the pool and be healed and all of that. So I remember just walking up there for prayer. And when I got close to the pool, the power of God was so strong. I mean, I was far away from the pool. The pool was way over here and I'm over here in line. And the power of God was so strong. I almost fell out. I couldn't even get close to the pool. <laughs> But that was like my, you know, when I was a brand new Christian experiencing a little cool. I mean, I used to experience a lot of supernatural stuff when I was a young Christian. And so I remember it was a prophet that night that came up to me and he said, God wants you to go uh, for three days and, and be in solitude and pray. So as a brand new Christian, I didn't really know how to pray. And uh, <laughs> I didn't know how to pray at all. But I remember getting away and um, doing that and I remember trying to pray 
But the scripture that I was praying says this, um, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. That's all. <laughs> That's all I was just saying the whole time. I mean, I started out, draw nigh to God. And, you know, he will draw nigh to you. God, I'm drawing nigh to you. I actually draw nigh to me. I was just saying that over and over and over and over again until I was just laid out like, God, you said if I draw nigh to you, you draw nigh to me. I was just like totally almost about to pass out and go to sleep. But then I heard the audible voice of God. Audible. I mean, it was like what, you know, the thunder and the lightning. That's what I heard. <laughs> and I heard the voice of God and he said, don't ask me that again. I am here. I heard the authority, the power, and I mean, I knew instantly that it was the Father that was talking to me. And, you know, but I know that it was the Father. It was like I felt authority. I felt power. I felt reverence. I felt the fear of the Lord. And so I was like, okay, Lord, I, I won't, you know, I won't say that again. And I'm telling you, that one scripture, draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you, I promise you, I haven't, like, just saying that scripture right now, <laughs> I haven't said it ever since. Um, because, you know, I was like, <laughs> but yeah, so that was my uh, experience with the Lord. So here, when he says, draw close to me, trust me, that brought back my uh, remembrance of when I was praying that to him about him drawing close to me, drawing nigh to me. And this is what he wants you to do. He wants us to draw close to him, to draw nigh to him. Okay? So we do that. When we draw to him, draw close to him, he will draw close to us. So you and me, we have to make the first move. I mean, God has been doing everything in this whole earth. You know, you think about it. He's did so much already. So, you know... Um, he's actually tugging us. His Holy Spirit is drawing us. And so we need to uh, put forth an effort and draw close to him. So here he's saying, draw close to me and trust me. He wants us to trust him. When you're drawing close to him, when you're close to God, you're spending time with him, you're, you're getting a bond, a connection with him. You should feel safe when you're close to him. You should trust him. When you're close to him, you should believe in him when you're close. So here he's saying, draw close to me, trust me. Okay? So ask the Lord to help you draw really, really close to him. Do this every day. Um, make this your goal for the whole year. Ask the Lord to uh, help you to draw closer to him and for him to help you trust him in everything. If you have problems with uh, struggling with trusting God in certain areas, this will help you if you if you're really close to God if he's if you're drawing close to God then you will start to trust him because you will start getting closer let's say if you're right here you start getting closer 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 you will start knowing him so good and spending so much time with him and seeing what the things that he's doing in your life and you'll start trusting him more trusting 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 and you'll be really close to him and then you'll totally hundred percent trust him in everything so draw close to God, ask him to help you, draw closer to him, and, um, and trust him, okay? Seek me and find me. I actually have a teaching of how we come to God. Um, I, I know I hear a lot of people saying, I've been seeking God, I've been seeking him for a while, and I haven't got an answer. So the Lord is going to give you an answer. It may not be what you want to hear, but God communicates to his people. He will guide you. He wants to be a part of stuff that you do every day. He's not going to just be silent and not guide you. That's not him. Trust me. I hear God all the time. Whenever I ask God a question, I hear him like that. You know, I'm nobody special, but I do have a teaching. I'll link it here that God talks about. There's a way that we have to come to him. There's an order when it comes to, you know, coming to God. Um, he gave it to me. I made a, a video about it. I will link it so you can actually go check that out, okay? If you're having problems when you're going before the Lord, seeking Him, and you're not hearing anything, you're not getting an answer, check that out so you can go to Him a certain way. He's the God of all creations. He's the King, and there's an order uh, the way we come to Him, okay? 
So it says, seek me and find me. So that scripture is true. If you're seeking him, you're not finding him. It's, it's the reason behind it. But he wants you to seek him and you will find him. Just believe you will. Okay. Then the last part here um, in this section that I'm going to do today is the Lord says, open up your heart to me. Okay. So he says this twice. He said it earlier. Open up your heart to me. So this is something you can actually start practicing today. Focus on the Lord. Block everything else out. Don't think about no problems, nobody else, your children, your husband, your wife, no one else, not even yourself. Just focus on Him and your heart will open to Him. Okay? Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can today uh, to go ahead and get this message, the whole entire letter up, um, uploaded and uh, recorded. <laughs> okay, so I, I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.